Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some recipes. So, if you like recipes, cooking, and want to see some yummy inspiration, keep on watching. Okay, so we're going to take this bread and we're going to make a stuffed hazelnut French toast. We're going to make a sandwich and we're going to dip it in our batter and then put it into the pan just like we did with our pumpkin stuffed french toast here it is it is so amazing so delicious um as far as the um garnish and making it fancy that's just icing yes store-bought icing in the microwave with a fork splattered it on the plate with confection and sugar and of course, if you don't want to stuff it, you could just have a regular take your bread and then you're just going to make like regular French toast, dip it in the batter and cook it and then top with whatever you like. Absolutely delicious. Okay, so let's make some stovetop baked apples. This recipe is so easy and it's pretty much whatever you want to do with it. You could get on the stove so you don't have to worry about doing oven. We are going to put it in the oven just for a little bit just so it can kind of like thicken up and all that jazz. So we have our apples. We're going to saute them in butter and um, we're going to season them with some honey. some brown sugar, mix it in there real good, and just watch it kind of like caramelize. That looks so good. I already had it, but I want some more right now. So I'm going to take a lemon and I'm going to squeeze it in and of course even though I have seeds facing up I dropped the seeds in there of course I did so I didn't want to take this part out because I wanted you guys to see that nothing is ever perfect <laughs> and um, yeah I'm just scooping out these seeds right now So I'm just adding apple juice. You can add water if you prefer. Tossing in a cinnamon stick. You can just do cinnamon if you want to. This is pretty much like whatever you want to do and you just do it to your taste. Right now I'm going to add um, a cornstarch slurry just to kind of thicken it up a little bit so it doesn't have to do too much work in the oven because I'm only gonna like pop that baby in there for a second transferring it into a baking dish and taking it out of the oven once it starts to like kind of bubble you can take it out at your desired doneness like how brown you want it depending on your taste Okay, so moving on to our ham sandwiches, I'm just taking a Hawaiian bread and rubbing it down with a brown sugar honey glaze. And I'm gonna put them in the oven just to kind of get a little toasty. A pineapple spread, so I'm just blending in some pineapple and mixing it with some sugar. And then I'm just going to add some honey and just kind of let it thicken up. And then I'll add a little bit of a slurry so it can be nice and thick. And then I'll let it cool down. Okay, and once my bread is toasted, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this bread on the bread and then start making my sandwiches. This is just a brown sugar honey ham. Actually, it's a turkey ham. <laughs> Just to clarify. Here's the final result. The kids devoured these. I was going to serve them with a sweet potato chip, but one of my gremlins got to the bag before I could serve them, so we had to do honey pretzels. Who can relate to that? Okay, so this next dish is um, a turkey breast and it's 
been already pre-marinated. So I just put it in a baking dish and covered it with foil and cut slits into it, cooked it slowly. And then this is what came out of it. And I just gonna serve that on sourdough bread with mayo and white cheddar cheese. And I'm going to put it in the air fryer and toast that up a little bit. Then I'm gonna use this red pepper fruit spread. Oh. Put some spinach, put it back in the air fryer to make sure it's nice and toasty. Here are some sweet potato chips that we actually do have now. And this was definitely making me wish I wasn't vegan. Um, I did take a little bite and absolutely delicious. Thanks for hanging out with me and blessings to you and your beautiful families.